Elon Musk claiming victory on X, saying the shareholders have voted by a wide margin to pass two resolutions. At stake is Elon Musk's pay package and moving Tesla's legal home from Delaware to Texas. Voting is still open, we should mention. Final tally expected later today. Meanwhile, Tesla bull Kathy Wood raising her price target on the company. ARK Invest 2029 projection for the stock is now $2,600 per share. And joining us right now first on CNBC at the table is Kathy Wood, CEO and CIO of ARK Invest. Good morning to you. Good morning, Andrew so, and Becky. Um, I very much want to talk about this price target, but I want to, I want to talk about this vote for just a moment. Yes. I know you supported uh, his, his compensation Absolutely. package. Did you expect, and look, things can still change, but it seems like some of the big institutional shareholders broke for Musk late last night. That seems to be what's happened. Retail seemed to have break, broke for him earlier than that. Yes. Yes. But were you expecting that? And what do you think, if in fact this is, this is the, the verdict, if you will, mm -hmm. or the vote, what do you expect is going to happen next? Because it doesn't seem like the game will be totally over because this is, of course, probably going to go back to court. Uh, well, first of all, you broke that news about the institutions, and, and I was surprised, actually, uh, and pleased. But I do think what has happened here, it really started with uh, ESG and all of the, the drama around that. Uh, and it got these large index players to say, wait a minute, should we, be, should we be voting all of these shares? We should be taking into account some of our clients' preferences. And so I think it's, it's opened the topic up. It's healthy, I think, very healthy. So, um, yeah, but nonetheless, I was surprised. Do you anticipate that this becomes another years-long drama, given that this will go to court? Do you imagine the judge is going to look at this, this vote say that the process was fair. I mean, part of this whole situation, as she said, the original process was unfair. We've had some lawyers come on our air and say, even if they vote, in, even if shareholders vote in favor of this, a judge could still strike it down. You know, I, I am not a lawyer, uh, but I, under, I, I learned what was at stake, lack of transparency about relationships with the board. Well, all of that has been completely right. exposed, and here we're having a vote, and uh, I think it's it's uh, more overwhelming than I would have expected. So twenty six hundred dollars a share. Yes. Help, help us do the math. How do you get there? What has to happen and for when all do of you that? Get there? <laughs> this is a five year uh, right. price target, uh, as all of ours are, and uh, what has to happen is uh, an autonomous taxi platform, Tesla's autonomous taxi platform. Uh, so robo taxis. Um, uh, which is a SaaS-like model. Instead right. of selling a car and maybe the software package, and that's it, uh, this becomes a recurring revenue model, a slice of every mile driven on that autonomous taxi network. Very high margins. Right, right now, uh, auto gross margins are around 16%. Uh, gross margins in the SaaS world are more like 80%. Right. How big a market does that have to become for Tesla to get to the $2,600 price? The reason I ask is there are some cities that, that may allow this to take place. There may be geofenced areas where people are going to do this. And there's also obviously a larger view that one day these cars will be able to do everything by themselves everywhere in the country. Yes. Well, this is the largest AI project on Earth, uh, uh, autonomous mobility broadly. And um, I think it's going to catch on as quickly as that. Now, of course, what we've had during the last uh, uh, 10 years right. is uh, a movement toward FSD. And now we're seeing safety statistics. And I remember Full self-driving for those uninitiated. Full, yeah, right. full self-driving. You, you look at the um, number of miles between accidents for the average car in the United States, it's about 200,000 miles. Right. Uh, you look at a Tesla without FSD, full self-driving, uh, just uh, autopilot, right. it's more like 600,000 miles. With Full self-driving and, and an older version, not even the right. latest, six, nine months ago, 3.2 million miles. Tasha right. Keeney has done this work. You know, Volvo built a brand on safety, and I think Tesla is going to use so, okay, but We're, and, and we're in the middle of taxes. 2024. Yeah. You're saying we get to 2029. Yes. And that that's where that price is. I think what I'm asking is for your base case, for this to work, 
And by the way, we should say that Elon Musk tweeted out, uh, extremely challenging, yes. uh, but achievable on top of your tweet. Yes. Um, when does this all have to really go into effect? Yes, we uh, believe that they're setting up for, for robo-taxis, the network, within, uh, I would say, a year and a half, two years. Hmm. Elon would say, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll start But that it. also requires regulators to sign yes, off on all now, this. Yes, now regulators uh, have an issue, and that is the uh, auto accident rate has gone, after decades of going down with auto safety measures, right. sharply, we talked sharp to Pete increase, Buttigieg right, about this uh, 40, 40 to 50 percent. Texting is a big part of it. You know, disproportionately young people. Right. So we, deaths in the U.S. have gone from the low 30s. Uh, I think they got into above 40,000. Uh, so I think the, the, the if if uh, regulators understand and they do that, 85 percent of all traffic accidents are caused by human error. If you take the human out, you're going to make the roads Kathy, safer. Kathy, we literally asked Pete Buttigieg, the department, uh, the secretary, tre uh, the treasury of transportation, yes. uh, the secretary of transportation Pete. yesterday, Pete yeah. Buttigieg, about this, and he did sound like he was open to the idea as a result. Yes. Um, and that's the first time I've really heard a public official who's kind of embraced it instead of saying, wait, 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 we don't like the rise of the machine. Absolutely. He is telegraphing that the roads ultimately are going to be much safer if you take the human being out of the equation. Much safer. Right.